How's it going, everybody? In today's video, we're talking about bots, the problems, how to fix it, all that kind of stuff. But that's not why I'm here, because I think I say all this again in a few seconds. Uh, I wanted to address a question that I've been asked like over and over and over again in stream, which is when does this game go to global? If you go to download this in a non-soft launch country, you're going to see a message saying that it's going to be available December 31st. Uh, I think that's just placeholder. I don't know why they would ever release it on New Year's like that. I think that'd be really bad. It'd be kind of hard for them to to pierce through all the noise that happens around that time of year, whether it be about Christmas, whether it be about you know New Year's, just snow stuff. That's always family time. So it'd be really awkward for them to try and get people then. I think it's going to be coming around, around November uh, when BlizzCon comes out. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, I guess we're going to have to stay tuned and, and wait and see. But anyway, let's get into the video right now. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another Warcraft Rumble video. And today we're going to be talking about PvP and the botting problem. Before that, though, listen, we're going to talk about something that's going to make people feel a certain way, especially if you're new to mobile games. But what I do want to hammer into is the PvE chase in this game is so much fun and takes up so much time anyway that until they fix it, maybe you don't want to worry about it. Or maybe, maybe this is part of the fix. I don't know. So what is the botting issue? Well, the botting issue is that you only get your levels crunched uh, up till I think it's Bright Spark or maybe Bright Bronze Spark 3. That's when everyone's levels are normalized. That is to say, all of, all of everyone's characters, they're all level 1. Once you hit Silver, instead of being level 1, they get crunched by a factor of 3, but rounded up to the higher number. So that is to say, if your, your uniques outside of PvP are level 15, they're going to be level 5 in PvP. If they're level 16 outside of PvP, they're going to be level uh, six in pvp and the level difference in pvp is huge one level is absolutely gigantic this guy's level eight we're probably gonna crush we'll see if he's a botter or not because the botters they just basically use the unbound decks and the unbound deck is just a crazy toxic thing where they just kind of spam you with a bunch of stuff yeah look so this is gonna be a botter i'm gonna try and defend against it and i'll talk about see he's level eight watch how fast my tower just gets absolutely crushed so there's a huge botting issue why could this maybe not be, like, the worst thing in the world? Uh, well, I don't want to say it's not the worst thing in the world, because it super sucks. But the reason it may not be the absolute worst thing in the world is because it's going to make faster queue times, right? This game is not out of the uh, the soft launch yet, and so obviously the the gaming community here is not it's not fully fledged out. So it might take a little bit. Yeah, he did spam it because the, uh, they're super cheap, the, uh, the Unbound characters. So... I would also like to say that once you reach the right level to tackle these guys, you'll steamroll them. Like, if we, if I was the same level as this guy, I outplayed him in a bunch of different ways, and I would actually be able to win here. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I can actually still drop a blizzard on him and somehow clinch this one out. But I think he's going to have an unbound person summoned here any second now, and that's going to be that. Oh, outplay! Let's go! Screw you, botter! All right, so you can win once you out-level them. You'll see them roll them. You see, I did just beat a punch-up that was clearly a botter, just kind of spamming Unbound. But this may be the case, and, and hopefully they have a button ready for when the, the game goes live and they just hit it and it nukes botters, because there's a bunch of issues this causes. First of all, it's ruining the PvP experience for everyone who's on the soft launch, right? I had someone come into the stream the other day, and they're like, hey man, I'm level four, I just climbed out of bronze where I was like destroying in PvP, and now I'm facing level seven, eight, nine minis. And the reason these minis are in the same elo bracket as them is because they suck and they lose once you are the same level, you can steamroll them. But that four level difference, it crushes. So PvP is basically just dead and you have to go to PvE for a much longer time. I think I faced this guy before. I don't think he's a botter. So it's kind of just ruining the experience for people, which is like super unfortunate because the game is so fun. Never mind, it is a botter. Uh, or maybe it's just an undown person. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I always summon Jaina on top of the tower like a dummy. Uh, but so, so some of the fixes that they could do, right? Like they could crunch the levels more. Instead of crunching it by a factor of three, crunch it by a factor of four. That would certainly help. Uh, but there's better ways. I think they could cap levels. So that is to say, like, for for the silver bracket, your minis can only be up to level four, right? So it helps those the PvE climbers. They can get there a little bit faster. It makes a little bit more sense on who you're facing. They could also cap the levels at bracket. Oh, I just said that. Cap levels at brackets. The last thing they could do is they could nerf the unbound decks. This, I think, is my favorite idea because it'll just... It makes more strategy because even I'm I'm kind of doing like a, a mock unbound deck, right? I'm protecting my base. That is the human aspect of this. And then I'm throwing unbound things at the enemy to try and get it done. 
So it's like a hypocritical, like this this deck sucks, but this is the easiest way to counter it without over leveling it and then doing some sort of strategy. So when they're punching down on you, it's rough, the unbalance, what I'm trying to say. There's an easy way to nerf it. You don't need to nerf the characters outside of PvP. No, that's dumb, because they're perfectly, I think, I think the game's really well balanced. But what they could do is in PvP, unbound characters do 25% damage to structures if there's not a non-unbound character with them. Like there's not a regular character, regular siege, range, whatever the case may be. If there's only unbound characters, they do 25% damage to the tower. I think that'd be a, a really good fix for this. And the reason I think they should get the fix in sooner rather than later, I don't think that'll stop people from botting. Uh, and the reason, the reason botting's bad is so when this game goes live, whether it be at the end of the year, whether it be in November after BlizzCon, whenever it's gonna go, do you really want all these bot accounts to just be sold and people not have to learn the game? This is a botter. It, the China Club whole alliance, guild, whatever, I think is botting. Every time I face one, that's what it is. Um, you don't want those people just to be selling accounts. Because when they sell accounts and then nobody knows what the hell they're doing and the game, everyone's just ripping on the game for being bought it or no one knows what the hell they're doing. It's just, it's not a good look for the game, especially when the game's going to be in its infancy, right? I'm going to drop a blizzard here to see if I can defend this. Yeah, he's level 8. It's such a big difference. It's an absolute monstrous difference. But you can see they play really dumb. So I, I know if I separate my two, I can maybe get a good look here. This is a new thing. This, uh, these bandits. <sighs> It kind of it messes with my anti botter strategy, so I don't like it. Uh, yeah, so I, you don't want the game to just be flooded with people who have no idea what the hell they're doing on launch. I think that'd be bad. Guilds will get pissed off about it. Who knows what they're going to do with the raids, if there's going to be competitiveness. People are going to spend a lot of money because it is a mobile game, and that's why that's why they make mobile games, right? Because they, they're huge money earners. Yeah, we got crushed by the level advantage. There's nothing we could do. I think we played this perfectly to the T, and just from the spamming, yeah, we were doomed. And you could tell when you face the same person over and over and over again, and the, the the minis are placed in the exact pinpoint right spot. You're like, oh, okay. And it's like, why why are you here? Why are you a level eight person who probably climb up to gold if you're playing with with a sentient brain? Why are you down here? It, it kind of sucks. I would still say the PVE makes it an enjoyable enough game that I'm still super hyped for it. I do think they're gonna fix it. I think they've put enough effort into this game and they know they're gonna get clowned for making a mobile game instead of fixing like Diablo 4. And I know people will really dislike where World of Warcraft is at right now. They're gonna get clowned on this so they want it to be successful. So I think they're gonna do the right thing. And there's so much possibilities in this game. I think it's gonna be dope. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off with that. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Boss. Let me know what you think about the suggestions I made. Crunch the levels more. Oops, we got disconnected. Crunch the levels more, cap levels at PvP brackets, or nerf unbound. I think nerfing unbound is the best idea. Because then we're going to play more around with some tanks, some anti-air, some traps. We're going to do some strategy instead of just spam unbound over and over and over again. And if you are a veteran player and you don't experience this, like past the silver bracket, let me know what it's like up there. Is there real strategies happening? Because I want to know. Because I want to play. Because I think that the possibilities of this game are really dope. But, as always, stay happy, healthy, have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.